archaeological quotation is what we use when we want to recover very small archaeological remains, things that we wouldn't normally be able to see as we're excavating or be able to pick out as we're excavating. Uh, we're talking particularly about small plant remains, small bones, shell, and things like that. Um, what we have here is kind of a middle of the road flotation machine. Some people just use individual buckets, which takes a very long time to do. You can't do very much in any particular day. You can't keep up with big excavations. Some people use massive, very expensive machines, very complicated machines, uh, which sometimes has some problems. This is a nice intermediate. Okay? It's very portable, it's cheap, it's very easy to make. Uh, and this particular kind also recycles its water, which is useful for desert areas in particular. So I'm going to show you before we, we actually put water in it and demonstrate it, the different parts. So if we come closer here. Of course, we have three garbage cans here okay, at three different levels. We have the main tank and the two settling tanks. Okay, the, the heart of this system is this bilge pump, which is just the, the same kind that you use on boats. Okay. Um, this bilge pump draws water up into the main tank here. Okay. You can see this mesh here, the sort of intermediate fineness of mesh. This is to catch uh, those, 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 when we pour the soil down here, this is going to prevent anything from uh, going through. The soil will eventually settle down to the bottom, but this will catch the finer materials. And the, the things like plant remains will float up to the top, okay? This is a support, a wire support, for when we're pouring soil down in. And down at the bottom here, you can see the pipe that's coming up, okay? So the, the whole reason that we're really doing this is so that the water will be shot up here and will break up the soil that we put into this machine. Okay, break up the soil so these small remains will float up to the surface. Okay, eventually then the small remains will flow through this, um, this, this part of the machine right here um, into this very high-tech kitchen colander that has an even finer mesh laid down here and then into this, this second settling tank and we'll eventually go back in there so all the water completely recirculates. Um, just to show you the, the finer details of what we've done here, if you come back up here, you can see that we, we cut out part of the trash can here. We, we put this particular uh, piece of plumbing hardware. You can also use a half of a PVC pipe, for instance. Um, we caulked it, then we, we put these screws to secure it, along with rubber washers, okay, to keep the, keep the water seal. Okay, and then we just attached these to, to hold the colander here. We used vinyl one inch inner diameter piping, which fits well with our, um, our pump here, and we use these hose clamps to ensure that we don't have leakage and we're not losing our water. And then just a lot of elbow joints. You can see this, this is for drawing up the water. Eventually we get up here, we go 180 degrees down, and then 180 degrees up again. Right, now we're going to put in our sediment, our simulation archeological sediment. We put poppy seeds in here. We're going to break up the sediment some more here. You can see that all the, the light plant materials are floating up top. Now you can see what we're, we're catching here. We're 
we're getting all the, the poppy seeds here.